Welcome back to Howard Lake Field on the campus of CVCC. Absolutely bathing in sunshine right now here in the home half of the fifth. J.D. Chase steps in. Still scoreless, still no hits for the Pirates so far in game one of the doubleheader. First pitch from Phones is swung on a miss for strike one. Chase struck out swinging back in the second. As the Pirates have only had one base runner so far today with a walk by Drew Jolly. That one also high, ball one. J.D. Chase from Opelika as he takes that one for strike two. Chase in the hole, one, two count. Phones winds and fires, swing and a miss on a pitch of the dirt. Strike three. Fourth, fourth strikeout on the day for Caleb Phones as Zach Bale steps in. Again, the 6'6 sophomore from Niceville, Florida. Hitting in the DH spot today. First pitch to him is just high for ball one. as Phones wants a new baseball. 1-0 count against Zach Bale. That pitch just high for ball two. The 2-0 pitch. Check swing, did he go? He did for strike one. Long appeal down there to the first. But the first base umpire punched the air with his right fist. The single strike, 2-1 pitch, high for ball three. And Zach Bale ahead in the count, three and one. Three-one pitch, swung on a hit high toward right center. Coming over is Williamson, he'll get underneath it and make the grab. So a long, another long flout to the outfield by the Pirates. And two down here in the bottom of the fifth. That'll bring Landon Tyler, who grounded out the third. Back in the third. First pitch to him is chopped towards second. Going to be a tough play over there. And the pitch back to first is not in time. And now rounding first and going to second. And being in there safely is Landon Tyler. Would have been a tough play over there by Noah Jones. He tried the backhand flip it to Andrew Walton. It hit off the helmet of Landon Tyler, and he rounded first. He got in the second safely, so it will be a single with an error on Jones there on the throw. And just like that, the Bison have a runner in scoring position. And steps in Drew Jolly, who before the last at bat by Tyler was the only pirate to reach base today. First pitch is in there for strike one. Oh, one pitch. Swung on a pop straight up into the air and out of play for strike two. Two out and the 0 2 pitch. High for ball one. One two in the dirt for ball for ball two. Good stop behind the plate there by Cannon Miller. 
Now we have an even count. Got to give credit to the outfielders as well. With the sun right over the top of us, really easy to look up and just see sun and get blinded. 2-2 two -two count. Taken and just high for ball three, and, it, and it's run full. Full count and a base hit to the outfield to give the Pirates the lead. The 3 2 pitch. Swung on a chop back to the pitcher. Phones get, falls on his rear end, and there's not going to be a play at first base. Everybody's safe. So an infield single by Jolly, who has now reached twice in the ballgame. And runners at the corners, and we're going to have time called here. While we have a break in the action, we'd like to thank some of our sponsors, Behringer Construction and Ch Chattahoochee Valley Community College. As well as always, Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC in Opelika, where I got my first vehicle. And it's run great ever since. Had it for over six years now. So that will bring up Michael DeFranciso as the bound visit keeps phones on the bump. Runners at the corners with two down. DeFranciso's first pitch shows bunt, pulls back, and it's outside for a ball. The shortstop struck out looking back in the third. Bunting with two outs is definitely a strategy, I'll put it that way. I believe it was just a fake out, though. And now pickoff move over to first. Back in safely is Jolly with plenty of time. one -oh count, no bunt shown this time, and that one's just high and inside for ball two. Leading run 90 feet away for the Pirates. Phone set at the belt. The 2-0 pitch. Swung on an excuse me swing and it's chopped foul right back towards us for strike one. Two one pitch. In there for strike two. Clutch pitch there by Phones. And now the biggest pitch of the ball game so far right here. Runners at the corners in a scoreless game. Two down in the bottom of the fifth. DeFranciso ready for the 2-2. Swung on and foul tipped back behind the plate. Remains a 2-2 two and two count. Just caught a piece of that one. Landon Tyler at third, Drew Jolly at first. Phone set. And the 2-2. Swung on and missed for strike three. Phones gets out of the jam. So two, two hits, two runners left, but no runs scored. And as we head to the sixth, we're still scoreless at 0-0. Zero to zero. This is Georgia Alabama Sports Live's coverage of Community College Baseball presented by Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC. Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC in Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. Now available with up to 13000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT discounted up to $97.50 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive discounted up to $8,000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy mid-size three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $8,500 off. No payments until the end of summer. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. 
truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glen Smith GMC. Welcome back to the ball game here in the top of the six. We're still scoreless here at CVCC. Back to the top of the order for both teams when they come to the plate in the sixth inning. Landon Bader 0 for 2 so far today with two strikeouts. First pitch is sliced fouled on the first baseline out of play. Oh, one pitch. Swung on a miss for strike two. I mean, Will Turner still in the ball game with seven strikeouts to his credit so far through five innings. 0-2, oh, just low for ball one. One, two count, Turner winds and he deals and swung on and missed for strike three. The eighth strikeout by Turner today and one down at the top of the sixth. Now bring up Ace Williamson, the center fielder who's also struck out twice, both times looking. First pitch is low and outside for ball one. Against the first and second hitters in the order for Southern Union, Will Turner is has five strikeouts on their five plate appearances. 1-0 pitch in the dirt for ball two. One one count. Pitch high. And it is 3-0, as the umpire confirms. That's why Tom Callahan told me to never trust the scoreboard. 3-0 count. The pitch by Turner in the dirt and a four-pitch walk against Williamson, and he's aboard. So that'll bring up Jaden Anderson, who's two for two today with two singles. Reach second base in the fourth inning on his second single today. And that's the farthest that a CVCC Bison, or excuse me, a Southern Union Bison has advanced today. Pickoff move over to first and back in safely. Close play over there, but Williamson back in safe with a head of first dive. Again, Southern Union in the navy blue and the gray pants. CVCC in the yellow tops and the white pants. Now the first pitch to Anderson and another pickoff move. I spoke too soon, and back in safely again is Williamson. Again, Turner very conscious of those runners over at first base so far today. Now the first pitch is roped down the left field line, but hooks foul. And hits off the side fence over there, 0-1. Another pickoff move over the first, and no play on that one. Third pickoff move to Williamson in Jaden Anderson's at bat. The 0-1 pitch, just low for ball one.
1-1 pitch. Just high. Throw down the first is not in time as Williamson gets, gets back in safely. And it's 2-1. The 2-1 pitch, swung on a hit toward left, is going to drop in for the third base of the day for Jaden Anderson. Williamson rounds second but hits the brakes and gets back to the bag. And now two men aboard for the Bison with one down. And now we're going to have a mound visit. As Will Turner is going to get a breather as the infield comes in. Again, while we have a break in the action, I'd like to thank some of our sponsors, CVCC, Chattahoochee Valley Community College, and Berger Construction, as well as Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC. Thank, thank you guys for making all this possible. Both teams showing basically absolutely nothing early offensively have now scrapped and crawled their way into making these pitchers uncomfortable. We saw it in the bottom half of the fifth with the with the Pirates getting runners at the corners. And now the Bison have two men aboard with one down, runners at first and second. And now the powwow between the infield and the coach for the Pirates has subsided. Metters trots back to his position behind the plate. And Pat McGlawn will step in. The third baseman's 0 for 2 today with a fly out to right and a ground out to third. Really hard ground out though, I might add. Williams in at second, Anderson at first. McGlawn at the plate trying to give the Bison the first run of the ball game. First pitch, just high for ball one. Now Turner steps off and calls time. Checks his receipt in his back pocket, puts it back in, and now he's ready to go. one -oh count, Turner I second, now he fires. Low for ball two. Pat McGlone standing in with a very rowdy Southern Union dugout. 2-0 count against him. Runners going, 2-0 pitch in there for a strike. Throw it on the third is out at third base. What a throw by Metters. The double steal was on, but Williamson is caught trying to steal third. Anderson does steal second, but now a runner at second and two down. Very clutch sequence there between Metters and J.D. Chase over there down at the third base in the in the hot corner. Now a 2-1 count against McGlawn. And the pitch. Swung on and off the end of the bat towards first and collected over there and tagging the bag for the Pirates. Is J.D. Chase. And that will retire the side. Excuse me, that's Trey Fulmer over there in the hot corner for the Pirates. So the Pirates escape the threat. We're still scoreless as we head to the home half of the sixth. You're watching Georgia Alabama Sports Live's coverage of college baseball presented by Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC. 
Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC in Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. Now available with up to 13000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT discounted up to $9,750 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive discounted up to $8,000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy midsize three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $8,500 off. No payments until the end of summer. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Welcome back to the ball game here, home half of the six, and a pretty fast-moving game here at the campus of CVCC. Still scoreless for Ashton Fedoric, as both teams in the six have the leadoff hitter begin get things going in the batter's box. First pitch to him is swung on a miss for strike one. Fedoric 0 for 2 today with a strikeout and a fly out to right. 0-1 count, phones delivers high for ball one. Both, both starters still in the ball game for either team. I should say for both teams. As an 1-1 one -one count against Fedoric, pitch is swung on a miss for strike two. One two pitch, just high for ball two. Phones with five strikeouts on the day. Will Turner has eight. 2-2 pitch in the dirt, but swung on and missed for strike three. And that's a sixth strikeout by Phones today. And now Harrison Long steps in, 0 for 2, with two flyouts to the outfield, one to right and one to center. About time he put one in play, he got on base. First pitch in there for strike one. Moved his shoulders in the act of swinging, but didn't flick the wrist and move the bat. Quickly 0-1. Phones going again pretty quickly as he fires low for ball one. One one count and the pitch. Swing on a swing hard down the left center. Going back to the track, to the wall. She's gone. Harrison Long goes yard right over the scoreboard in left center. And Southern Union gives up the big mistake as CVCC takes a one and the zero lead. Harrison Long with his second home run of the season. And what a time to do it. The Pirates now up one to nothing on one swing of the bat. And that's the first mistake either pitcher has made on the mound all day. The Pirates make phones pay and the first pitch to Metters clips him on the left shoulder. Trey Fulmer now steps in, 0 for 2 on the, on the day with two pop-outs. Pickoff move over the first to try to get Metters is not in time. And in a pitcher's duel like this, all it takes is one mistake on the mound. And Harrison Long made cable phones pay. Now the first pitch to Fulmer just misses for ball one.
One nothing lead for the Pirates here in the home half of the six on the home run by Harrison Long. That pitch has popped straight up into the air into the infield. Good communication by the Bison as Andrew Walton comes over to make the grab by the pitcher's mound for the second out of the inning. J.D. Chase now steps in, 0 for 2 of two strikeouts. First pitch to him is swung on a miss for strike one. And now the second base umpire coming up, calling time, and going to have a little bit of a conference between the umpires. Home plate umpire confirming it's an 0-1 count. Nope. And the pitch. Swung on a miss for strike two. Phones trying to stop the bleeding here in the home half of the sixth. 0 2 pitch, just low for ball one. One two pitch, high for ball two. As JD Chase stays alive and gets it back to an even count. Metters at first. He was hit by a pitch following the home run by Harrison Long. And now the 2-2 pitch is swung on and missed for strike three. The third strikeout by Chase today. But not before Harrison Long goes yard over the left center field fence by the scoreboard and gives the Pirates a 1-0 lead heading to the seventh. You're watching Georgia Alabama Sports Live's coverage of college baseball presented by Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC. Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC in Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. Now available with up to 13,000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT discounted up to 9750 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive discounted up to 8000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy mid-size three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $8,500 off. No payments until the end of summer. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Welcome back to the ball game here for the top of the seventh. This is do or die time for the Bison. Again, a seven, first game is seven innings, second game is nine. As the Bison find themselves down one to nothing down to the final three outs. Turner still on the mound. First pitch to Cannon Miller is inside and low for ball one. Nearly hit him. Miller 0 for 2 today with a strikeout and a fly out to right. One zero inside for ball two. The 
2-0. Low in the dirt for ball three. Miller ahead in the count, 3-0 and the pitch. Low for ball four and a four-pitch walk to begin the top of the seventh for the Bison. And that'll bring up Braden Devine. Reached on a single in the second, then was caught stealing. Ran for second on a pickoff move and then flew out to center. Turner set at the belt. And a pickoff move to first. Keeps Cannon Miller close to the bag. Now the first pitch to Devine, showing Bunt pulls back. It's high for a ball. The 1-0. Bunt right back to the pitcher, Turner. He slips as he tries to fire it down the second. The ball slipped out of his hand. And the Bison with two runners on and nobody out. So now Andrew Walton steps in with two flyouts on the day. Turner... Just trying to hold the one run lead, and now we're going to have another meeting on the mound. Turner now ready. And the first pitch to Walton. Shows Bunt, gets it down. Turner feels it, fires the third, and he is out at third base just in time as Cannon Miller is thrown at heading the third. So Walton reaches first on the sacrifice Bunt. Devine goes to second. So now one down, runners on first and second. Jaden Todd will step in, one for two with a single and a strikeout. Also has a stolen base to his credit. First pitch to Todd. In there for strike one. Turner has been absolutely flawless so far in game one this afternoon. Can he finish it off and get the Bison, send the Bison back to the classroom and the chalkboard? try to get something going offensively for game two. Runner going to third, throw down the third, is in plenty of time and he is safe. He's under the tag, he is safe. And the Pirates in their first base, third base dog, I can't believe it. The throw is in plenty of time. Devine looked at he looks to me that he got under the tag, but the Pirates can't believe it. Neither can their head coach Hunter Vick. 
and he'll keep his composure. And the stolen base by Devine puts runners at the corners with one down. And the tying run 90 feet away. One one count to Jaden Todd. Runners at the corners. Walton at first, Devine at third. And the pitch pops straight up into the air and out of play for strike two. Turner sets on the one and two. And the pitch. Swung on, hit towards second. Throw over to second for one. Throw over to first for the win is not in time. And the Bison have tied it up at one here in the top of the seventh. Todd beats to throw the first. Walton's thrown out going to second. But Devine comes around and scores. And we're notched at one. No. They reverse the call. He's out of the baseline. They're calling him out. And that's the ball game. And so they rule it a double play. And that gives the Pirates a one to nothing victory in game one. An unusual ruling and an unusual ending, but the Pirates win game one, one to nothing. And with that, we'll have a break of about 30 minutes before game two resumes our doubleheader. I believe the call is out. The runner going home is out of the baseline. If we hear anything different, we'll let you know when we come back for game two. Pirates win game one, one to nothing. We'll be back after a little bit of a break for game two here on the campus of CUCC. You're watching College of Baseball on George WM Sports Live presented by Chevrolet. Glenn Smith, GMC. Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC in Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. Now available with up to 13000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT discounted up to $9,750 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive discounted up to $8,000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy mid-size three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $8,500 off. No payments until the end of summer. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC in Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. Now available with up to $13,000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT discounted up to $9,750 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive discounted up to $8,000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile.
truckloads of fresh inventory. Are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC and Opelika, like this powerful all new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. Now available with up to 13000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT discounted up to $9,750 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all wheel drive discounted up to $8,000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy mid-size three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $8,500 off. No payments until the end of summer. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC and Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. Now available with up to $13,000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT discounted up to $9,750 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive discounted up to $8,000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy mid-size three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $8,500 off. No payments until the end of summer. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC and Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. Now available with up to $13,000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT discounted up to $9,750 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive discounted up to $8,000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy mid-size three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $8,500 off. No payments until the end of summer. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC in Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. Now available with up to $13,000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT discounted up to $9,750 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive discounted up to $8,000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy mid-size three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $8,500 off. No payments until the end of summer. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Truckloads of fresh inventory are rolling in to Glenn Smith GMC in Opelika, like this powerful all-new GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. Now available with up to $13,000 off. Purchase the roomy GMC Terrain SLT discounted up to $9,750 off. And the GMC Acadia AT4 all-wheel drive discounted up to $8,000 off. Enjoy no payments till the end of summer at Glenn Smith GMC. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. It's truck season.